Outlines seem like the most basic thing to add when making 3D anime characters, but a lot of popular anime add outlines to specific objects and materials in the background to enhance their stylized look. So, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you three easy ways to add anime outlines to your models and when to use them. But first, welcome to the Comfy Mug channel. My name is Christian, and I spend countless hours learning how to make anime stuff in Blender so that you don't have to. So, if you're looking to make your own professional anime in 3D, make sure to subscribe with notifications enabled so you don't miss out. And check out my Patreon. The first tier is only $2 a month, or around $22 a year, and you get custom anime assets built by me at the start of each month. Your support there really helps this channel out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, there are three simple ways to add anime outlines to your 3D models. The Fresnel approach, the inverted hole method, and the line art collection technique. So, starting with the Fresnel approach, we'll be adding outlines directly inside an already existing shader with an addition of a couple nodes. By adding a Fresnel node, color ramp, and mix color to any given shader, we can connect the nodes as you see on screen, making sure to plug the color output into the factor input of our mix color, and connect your desired texture to the A input of the mix color as well. We'll then change the color ramp to constant, and adjust the color stops and the Fresnel's IOR to get a nice edge. After that, just change the mix's B color to anything you want, or add a few nodes to get a more interesting outline. This works especially well with smooth materials like metal and glass, as well as objects that have rounded edges. But what about other objects and materials that have a sharper look? The inverted hull method, which is great for those sharp aesthetics, makes use of a simple modifier and an additional shader. To implement this method, with our desired object selected, we'll go to our materials sidebar and add a new material, call it anime outline, and in the shader editor, get rid of the principal BSDF and replace it with an emission shader. We'll then choose our desired outline color, and in our options tab, we'll enable backface culling. After that, we'll head up to our Modifiers tab and search for a Solidify modifier. Once that's been added, we'll open up the Normals section and check Flip. Then, just below the Normals, we'll open up the Materials section and change the Material Offset to 1. It's important to note that this number may change depending on the number of materials on a particular object. But, once we've found the anime outline, we'll go back up and increase the offset to 1 and adjust the thickness as needed. This process will also vary on how thick or thin you want the outline to be. And I would recommend using this method for objects that have straight edges and defined angles, as these outlines will follow the exact topology of an object. Thus, if you use this method for objects with round edges that don't have enough topology, the resulting jagged outline can give away the fact that this object is 3D. But, as if Blender anticipated this problem from the beginning, they have provided us with the third option for creating anime outlines by using grease pencil. And no, you don't have to draw the outlines by hand. I can barely draw a straight line, let alone complex geometrical shapes with my shaky hands. No. Blender made this process super easy for us, because all we have to do is have a camera in our scene, a collection of objects selected, and in the viewport, press Shift A and add a grease pencil collection line art. And just like that, we have anime outlines. And these outlines will show up as line art in your collection, and you can customize the color, make it a gradient, a texture, you can even change the thickness in the modifiers tab, the opacity, what type of of angles the modifier draws lines on, pretty much anything. And if you add the dot and dash modifier, you can break up the lines to make them feel more organic. You can also add a noise modifier to make some imperfections to the lines so they look more hand-drawn. Smooth things out with the smooth modifier, but I actually like using this modifier for the opposite effect, to get more chaotic lines and make the objects look worn out. Arrgh, I... <laughs> Can you tell how much I love this technique? You can also edit the mesh of any object to always have a line drawn on specific edges that weren't outlined before by selecting any edge and pressing Ctrl E and selecting the Mark as Freestyle Edge option in edit mode. 
There are so many things you can do with this technique, and I would highly recommend using it to outline an entire scene and implement the other two methods for more specific individual objects. Selling the idea that these objects might have actually been drawn on a sheet of paper. But if you don't know how to make anime objects and shaders, you won't have anything to add your new line art to. Lucky for you, <laughs> I have plenty of tutorials teaching you how to make your own anime textures and models in 3D. So check out my playlist for anime beginners in Blender. Remember to like and subscribe, and comment what you're using these techniques for down below. I always love hearing how your projects are coming along. And also, check out my Patreon to get custom anime assets, updates on videos I'm working on, and some occasional exclusive content. I want to say thank you to all of my patrons for your continued support of this channel. It's been so cool to see you guys commenting and sharing your ideas with me over on Patreon, and I'm so humbled to see how many of you believe in my work and want to help support this channel so I can make more tutorials. I never thought I could do any of this, but you have all made it possible for me. So thank you guys for supporting me and finding value in the work that I do here. And thank you, the viewer, for watching the video. I hope you're all doing well and having a comfy day. And I'll see you here next time at the Comfy Mug.